My name is John Aschenbach. I'm president of Resource Supply out of Tigard, Oregon. Today we're looking at the RD1000 BAF scope by Laser Technology. We're going to do a demonstration where we actually cruise a plot. We're going to use the RD1000 to determine which trees are in or out. This is a phenomenal machine relative to its being able to, to determine your in and out trees. The view through the viewfinder is crystal clear. Doesn't matter if it's raining or dark or whatever, it's just crystal clear. Okay, when we're cruising to determine whether a tree is in or out in our sample, first thing we do is we hit the mode button and we're gonna put that into the basal area factor mode. If we need to change the basal area factor, we hit the edit button and then use our arrow keys and change that value to whatever we want. Once I've got the basal area factor entered that I wanna use, I press the button in the front and I keep that pressed so that as I'm looking up or down, you know, depending on what the slope is and my sighting point on the tree, it automatically corrects for slope and it'll give me an accurate tree count in and out. Okay, I'm gonna be over plot center with the instrument, not my body, but the instrument itself is gonna be over plot center. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm looking at this big Douglas fir tree. I'm gonna determine if it's in or out. I'll push the button in to activate the basal area factor. I'm looking at D4H or DBH. Uh, and uh, it definitely is in, the, the tree's wider than the basal area factor. And in this case, I'm actually gonna sight the trees in or out at 16 feet. So I'm looking up the tree at 16 feet above the stump, and I'm looking to see if the basal area factor is, is smaller than the width of the tree. In this case it is, so it definitely is an in tree at 16 feet. Now as I move around, I go in a counterclockwise direction. That's just my preference, has nothing to do with anything else. Uh, that big Douglas fir there is in. I've got a western red cedar. And again, I make sure I'm over the position of the, the point. I'm looking at 16 feet. That one's in. And I have a red alder tree that's out at 16 feet. And if you look at this thing at D4H or DBH, it would be in. But at 16 feet where I'm actually sighting these trees in or out, it, uh, it would be out. The RD1000 is very, very good in terms of stabilizing very quickly. So if I look up, you know, the bowl of the tree, it just takes literally about one second and it's stabilized and, and I've got a very accurate tree count. This thing is just phenomenally good for that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the RD1000 to measure the diameter of a tree. In this situation, we've got a fairly large tree that's on the other side of a creek. We don't wanna walk over there. So it's much, much more convenient for us to actually measure the diameter with the RD1000. What I do is I hit the mode button to get it to diameter mode. I'm gonna take my True Pulse 360B and I'm gonna get a distance to the tree. That's 57.0 feet. So once I'm in mode here, I'm gonna hit enter and I'll actually enter the the distance to the tree using the arrow buttons. Okay, once I've done that, once I have the distance in there, I hit enter and then it says base. So I press the front button and I'm actually going to shoot at the base of the tree. I release the front button, press the front button, and then I'm gonna sight at any point on the base or on the, the bowl of the tree that I wanna get a diameter for. I release the front button that locks that angle in and then I use the rocker switch in the back and I'm going to move the rocker switch whatever direction I need to so that the um, uh, diameter of the bars represented equal the diameter of the tree. There's an exact match there. And what I've got is 26.6 inches. And you can see that right on the, the display here or in the inside viewer.